The GVSU men's basketball season begins at home on November 9th when the team hosts Alderson Brodus at 12 p.m. in the GVSU Fieldhouse. Time now for the GLIAC season preview. My name is Jake Levy, joined by men's basketball head coach Rick Wesley. And coach, season is fast approaching. Now you guys have a very interesting non-conference schedule. Let's start with that. Alderson Brodus, Davis Elkins, come to town that first weekend. Uh, yeah, it's a, a tough way to start playing two teams that uh, are, are really unfamiliar to us. They're way out of our area. We played them a long time ago. It seemed like the start of last year. Uh, both of them are good teams. Uh, they're well coached. Uh, Davis Elkins got a new coach this year. So uh, it'll be a challenge, but it's that uh, a crossover opportunity that we get every year. Uh, if you win it, it gets you off to a great start. It really helps you with your postseason uh, resume. And it's going to be a tough start playing two teams you're unfamiliar with, but you're also starting to learn your new team as well. Four transfers, six freshmen. How have those new pieces started to fit in as you've begun practice here this year? Yeah, that's a good point. You know, I really, haven't really thought about our opponents that much because uh, we do have so many new guys. Um, uh, it's gone well, I think. You know, some of our new guys are veteran guys. They, uh, uh, we have three uh, uh, Division One transfers and one junior college transfer. I think that's right. So, you know, they're older. They've been through practices before. They Each one of them have had... Uh, some good experiences with good programs. So uh, they've been good learners. I, I think it's gone pretty well. You know, they've seemed like they've slid right in there. I think the biggest thing is all four of those guys, the older guys, have great attitudes. They're uh, no ego guys. They don't come in thinking that they've got all the answer. Their goal has been to come in and fit in, and they've done a very nice job of that. Last year, your team ended so hot, winning four of the last five regular season games, winning that GLIAC tournament as a seven seed, first school ever to do that, and then played really, really hard against the host Lewis in that first round of the NCAA tournament. What do you hope your team, especially returners, take from that run at the end of last year and carry into this season? Yeah, I think that that will help. Uh, certainly the, the veteran guys, uh, you know, Ferg and Jake and Steve and Ben, some of the guys that have been around, Luke and Brandon, you know, they carry that with them. They remember how that uh, transpired, you know, the things that we had to do to get to that point. Um, and we're trying to just get to that point a little bit quicker this year than we did last year. So I think it gives us a little bit of momentum. It is a new season, but certainly that left a good taste in our mouth. Talk about a couple of the returners that really stand out. Jeremiah Ferguson, who hit that game-winning buzzer beater to punch your ticket to the NCAA tournament, then a two-time all-conference guy, and Jake Van Tubergen going into his junior season. What do you expect from your veteran older guys this year? Well, we expect a lot from those guys. Uh, they played major minutes and were a big part of our group last year. Uh, this year, clearly, they're the most uh, proven, uh, experienced guys that we have. So we, we hope that they're going to have uh, a great year. We need to have, have them have great years if our team's going to do well. But even more than their, uh, you know, their play on the court, I think my expectation is that they do more in terms of a leadership role, um, both verbally um, you know, just saying the right thing every day, kind of being our coaches on the floor, uh, but also just in terms of their, um, their work habits and uh, um, the visual that they present to not only our transfer guys, but we have a lot of you new freshmen just setting a good example of what it means to be a college athlete and, uh, and how you go about your business. Let's talk a little bit about this GLIAC. It's a grind of a league. We know that year in and year out. Davenport now, who won the regular season last year, is postseason eligible this year. Ashland made it to the NCAA tournament last year. There's some really talented teams in this GLIAC this year. Yeah, there really is. And, uh, you know, so as we get uh, familiar and excited about our own team, it's sort of, uh, you have to temper it a little bit because you start thinking about the teams that we have to play. Uh, certainly Davenport had a great year last year. They returned the bulk of their team with added incentive now that they are eligible for postseason. Ashland with Drew Nobles, uh, one of the best players in the conference. And, and then you just keep going. You know, Kyle Monroe was out last year who might very well be a pick for the preseason player of the year for Michigan Tech. Uh, Saginaw Valley's added a bunch of new transfers. Uh, you know, Northwood had an outstanding young group last year. Ferris is always tough. Lake State is always tough. Northern Michigan has a new coach and has their front line back. Uh, Wayne State's got transfers. So you just keep going in the Parkside and Purdue Northwest are, are still the, uh, have a little bit element of the unknown being the new teams in the conference. So everybody's pretty solid. Um, you know, we can't spend too much time worrying about them. Our thing right now is to just get to be as cohesive and as, as strong as we can. Uh, and then hopefully that we're good enough to take care of business. Knowing how much of a grind the GLIAC season is, what does that do to prepare you for postseason play? Well, I really think if you can just get to postseason play, um, 
you know, to rise to a high enough level in, in our conference, then that probably means that we, we've got a chance to really be competitive in postseason play. Uh, I don't, it's a little different than Division One, where you have a 1 and a 16 seed, and, you know, the 16 seeds don't have a chance. Uh, you're one of eight teams in a region. If you get there, you're, you're either uh, have done well all season or you're certainly hot at that moment. And as we saw last year, we were the eighth seed playing the number one seed, and I don't think there was really much of a difference. It's just a couple breaks here or there, we would have advanced uh, uh, in that game. So, um, you know, we're certainly going to be battle-tested by the time we get to the end of the year. Hopefully we can put ourselves in a position that we can continue to play on. Well, Coach, it'll be a fun journey. We're looking forward to it. Season begins November 9th. Get back to work, okay? All right, we will. That's head coach Rick Wesley. This has been the GVSU Men's Basketball Season Preview on the Grand Valley Sports Network.